Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech, Susil this side and this is continuation of Power BI scenarios. So today we are going to discuss one more real time scenario. If you haven't watched the last video of this video series, so I would strongly recommend to watch that video because this is the continuation of that video. So in the last video we have seen we don't have this slicer which is our date slicer and here if we will select any particular date then we should see the location on that particular selected date. So if the count of the location on that particular day is one then that should go inside the others otherwise that will go on that location. As you can see we have selected this 12 number and here we can see the UP is coming three times that's why in our pie chart we can see the UP as three times other Mumbai and Nagpur is coming only once that's why we can see inside the others that is once. Let me select any another date so here we can see we have only one that is Mumbai that's why it's going inside the others. So basically for that we have to create this repeated location column you can see on the right side of this table. So in this what we need to do we should have a filter criteria in our DAX formula where we will put the filter for the location on that particular row and the date as well. So this time we'll have two filters first for date and second for the location and we'll do the aggregation. So how we can do that go to on the Power BI desktop for the training second one and here we need to implement that one. So go to on the data view and here let me add a new column so we can click on this. Now we need to wait few seconds. This time we can call this as repeated location count. Now the first thing that you need to understand we want to do the counting. So for that we have to use the summarize. So we can use the summarize. After that it is saying we need to specify the table name. So on that table name we should apply the filter for the date. So for that we have to use the filter over here. So we can use the filter then the table name that should be the seat one. Then we can put the comma. Here we need to specify the filter criteria. So here we are going to filter for the date. So we can use the earlier and here we can specify the PLC date. And this should be equals to seat one dot PLC date. So this is the PLC date. Now we can close the bracket. So filter is done. Now we can put the comma. So as of now what we did here we can see the seat one earlier date one. So for example we are in the first row. So this row will have the 12th of November. So it will be going to filter this table on this 12 number so it will have the 12 the first row after that you can see the fourth row and you can see the sixth row and you can see one more the third last row and the last one row so these six row will be filtered according to this filter criteria after that here what we need to do so this time it is asking group by column name so we want to group by on the basis of location. Now we can put the comma. Now it is saying group by column two. So we have only one column that is going to use for grouping. Next we need to specify the column name of the aggregated. So we'll do the aggregation the next parameter but before that we have to specify the column name. So for that we can specify as I guess count. Now we can put the comma and here we can see expression. So in this expression we need to specify what we want to do. So we want to do the count of the location ID. So this is the location we can close the bracket and again we can close the bracket. So now we have done with the summarize. So as of now what it will do it will do the filter on the date and counting the total locations and grouping by the location. So this time it will filter for 
12th of November, the first row, the in the second row, it will filter for 10th of November, mm -hmm. then 11th, the first of October. So going forward, it will be filtering for each row. Now, after that, it will be going to count those rows and we'll see only two columns. First will have the location, second will have the total count of that particular location on that date. So this is for the summarize. Now we want to put one more filter this time and this will have for the location because here we have applied the filter for the date. So we can use the one more filter and go to the last put comma. Here we can specify like earlier then location this should be equals to seat one location now we can close the bracket now this result set will be filtered for the location as well inside the summarize we are going to filter for the date outside this we are going to filter for the location and here the last thing that we need to do we can use the max x function so let me use the max x and here the table name so this is our table we can put the column in the expression we want to do the max for the newly created column which is our count so we can use the count now we can close the bracket and we can press the enter so now we need to wait few seconds and here you can see we are having this new column which is having the data as we are expecting. Let's one more look of this DAX formula. So we are doing the summarize. Inside the summarize we are filtering the data on the date basis and after that we are trying to count the locations and group by the location and this count will be the column name. And after that we are trying to filter the data on the basis of locations and after that we are just trying to get the maximum number of counts that we are having for that particular date so this is done now we need to add one more column that will have the location if this count is one then that should be others otherwise we'll have the same as we have so let me add one more column click on this and here let me call this as new location I guess and here we need to specify if we need to check this REP location count if this value is equals to 1 then we wanna have the others otherwise we wanna have the location that we have now we can close the bracket and press the enter so now it will have that column and here you can see the up 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 three times rest of the others now go to on the report view and here let me quickly add the slicer and let me try to drag and drop the plc date on this so this is the plc date we can drag and drop in the fields after that we can make this change as list now here go to on the pie chart click on that and try to make it bigger now here we can see the new location that we have created so we can drag this and drop in the legend and in the counting we want to have this id so we can drag and drop this id on the values so it will be gonna count this so we can see it will be counting this now let me select this so once we select then we can see two then three here we are not seeing what value it has here we can see it is up and this is others so go to on the format quickly and here go to on the let me select this and now go to on the format and here we can see data level in the data level we need to have all details level now you can see the up and others if we select any another value then we'll see the others only so that is working as we are expecting so i hope guys you have understand how we can use this and this is very important and real time scenario if you still have any doubt then you can drop your questions on the comment box so i will try to respond on your comment
please like the video and do subscribe my channel see you in the next video